Hey everybody, it's Jason with Rotoboss Rotary Attachments. I wanted to hop on here tonight, do a quick video on a new feature in Lightburn 1.5.01. Uh, that new feature is a Lightburn taper warp feature. And what this does is for tumblers and things like that, when you're using a rotary, it allows you to, um, it calculates for you the, the taper that you need for the size, diameter, and length of the cup. Um, I used to use things like uh, the perspective tool or the warp tool, uh, which is under the tool section in Lightburn. Uh, so you got the warp and deform. And uh, so that worked really well. It was kind of a guessing game on how to do it. Um, I'll show you that feature and then I'll also show you the new uh, taper warp uh, calculator that they have in here. So this is really useful if you're doing round or square designs and you want to make them look round and square when they're done. This feature allows you to do that and it, it helps with the, uh, the overall outcome of your design. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the full screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now mind you, I'm gonna click on some stuff in the drop down menus. I don't know why they're not showing up, but uh, I will, I'll talk you through it as I'm doing it. So if in, in the past, before this feature came out, you would go under the tool tab here and you would go down to the warp section and then it pops up these little dots and stuff um, and you can get it to do it, do it all together or separate. Um, just depends on what you're doing. Uh, this was really useful for doing tapered objects, but with uh, this here, it was kind of a guessing game. Uh, you could get pretty close, um, but it wasn't always exact unless you played around with it and kind of got, got used to it. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and back this up. All right. So the new feature, uh, Taper Warp, is under your laser tool tab here. Again, you're not going to see the drop down, but if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see it says Taper Warp. You're going to click on that, and it's going to open up a box. And if you noticed already, it already kind of skewed the image based on the setup here. Um, I like to go ahead and rotate it the direction it's going to be. And then in your object top, you're going to have top, left, and right in the drop down. You want to select right because that's the way we have it faced. And then we're going to change these numbers to 101 and 80. Mind you, these numbers may not be exact for what I'm doing. I'm just trying to illustrate the purpose here. Uh, with the length, length of 150 millimeters, it's about 6 inches. Um, so this is a rough idea of what you're looking at. You might go 200. Um, not going to change it that much, but it will change it. So make sure that you got these numbers correct when you put them in here. That way you get the best result. And then you hit OK. Uh, and if you notice, it went ahead and warped it. Now... If you're, the large part of your taper is at the top of your cup, you're always going to see it be shorter at the top. So if not, you know you've done something wrong, go back through and check. Because if we go ahead and reselect this, and I'll go back to the regular design, reselect it, and then go to Laser Tool, Taper Warp. Now if I turn it to the right again, you'll see... Now I'm going to do just the opposite. Say it's a stemless wine glass. So it's 80 and 101. So now your taper is towards the bottom instead of the top because the bottom of the cup is bigger than the top of the cup. And this accounts for it. <clears throat> this shouldn't change your steps for rotation or anything like that in your rotary. Um, it's just skewing the design itself. So when you send it to the laser and engrave it, you should have a perfect engraving so a square design should come out square or a rectangular design should come out rectangular or a circular should come out circular so um, I will be doing some testing on this I just found out about this feature tonight so I wanted to hop on here real quick and talk about it uh, did a little plan around with it with my uh, my dummy controller at home so I could get in here and actually do this but um, so I hope this helps uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, I'll answer them the best I can, or if, if not, I'll try to find out the answer for you. 
but this is just kind of a, a down and dirty kind of look at the new feature in Lightburn because you can actually do it with like a, say a circle. We can do a circle. Let's make it 130 by 130. It's going to make it look like an egg, mind you. Um, oops. So go ahead and select it. Go to your laser tool, taper warp, turn it to the right, and then 101, 80. You're going to see it's going to come out like a weird egg shape. Don't be worried. That's what it's supposed to do. And when it starts engraving, it's going to look really weird. Um, because I have done this with the, the regular warp function before this came out. It is going to look really weird when it starts engraving. But once it's done, you'll see the, the completed image and it'll make total sense. So just to kind of give you an idea, like I said, of, of how this works, if there's anybody that knows anything better about it or more about it or has a different way of doing it or whatever, this is just kind of what I've learned after playing with it for a little bit tonight um, before doing this video. So um, feel free to leave the comments in the comment section. I'll be happy to hear them because if I'm wrong. I'm wrong, but uh, I think I got it right. So I'll be playing around with it uh, at the shop probably later this week or, or something. And I'll have some examples and kind of show you guys that as well. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, again, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful night and we'll see you in the next video.